This part of the fundamentals of creative swimming is concerned with strokes and leg kicks and with the basic skills derived from them. Sculling is treated in part turned body position figures. Swimming is an art form. As in any art, there are certain rules with the least expenditure of effort. Owing to differences in buoyancy and body build, not everyone performs exactly alike. But such differences cannot be used as an excuse for incorrect performance. True self-expression is based upon the flawless mastery of fundamental skills. In the front crawl, as adapted for creative swimming, the hips and legs are lowered slightly, and the knees are much more relaxed than in the orthodox stroke. The rhythm is even, the swing is from the hips. Ankles are relaxed, feet turned in a little. The arm stroke depends a great deal on theme and music. Whether straight arm or bent elbow recovery is used, the wrist should be natural, the palms flat, not cupped. The bent elbow recovery should be practiced with a high pointed elbow. Fingertips enter the water first and without splashing. The arm pulls only until the fingertips point to the bottom of the pool. Breathing should be natural, even and relaxed as possible with no spitting or spurting. The face is an integral part of the performance. Facial expression should be practiced to indicate relaxation and enjoyment. Rhythm and style will vary with music and theme, but the stroke as a whole must be graceful, efficient, and controlled. The spinning top is a simple figure using a modified flutter kick. Figures which use parts of strokes rather than sculling may be called stroking skills. Here the kick is adapted from the crawl, strong enough to keep chin above water, but slow and even so that the body moves smoothly without bobbing. The back crawl in creative swimming is essentially the same as the conventional stroke. The feet, however, should break water as little as possible. Note how the shoulder is raised above the water first so that the arm swings freely. In the straight arm recovery, the arm is relaxed. Fingers together, thumb in. The fingertips enter the water just above shoulder level. The catch is made under the surface with the pull all the way to the hips. The swing is continuous. Marching is a stroking skill which begins in a back layout. The arms are not used and remain in a neat position at the side. The legs move only from the knee down. The knee is bent and the toe pointed downward so that the calf of the leg and the sole of the foot press against the water. The action of the legs is somewhat like pedaling a bicycle. The legs should be straightened without force, the object being to maintain a slow, even, smooth propulsion. The Marlin turn combines a roll with a turntable movement on the surface of the water. The roll is from the back to the back and the body remains straight. The arms begin and end in outstretched position and are kept just under the surface. The swing of the arm is from the shoulder. Elbows remain straight. The bottom arm goes behind, the top arm goes across. The turning is done by the body, shoulder and head. Flutter kick revolving is based on the kick used in front crawl and back crawl. The kick is continuous, with knees relaxed, easy smooth rhythm, no splash. The roll is accomplished by stretching harder on one side. Roll should be of even tempo, smoothly performed, with arms extended, body straight, head kept in line. The revolving crawl adds arm movement to the flutter kick revolving. 
It might be called a stroking hybrid since it combines front and back crawl. The alternation is front crawl, roll, back crawl. The kick is even, smooth, continuous. Both the kick and the arm stroke should be done without splashing. Breathing should be as silent and relaxed as possible. In the elementary backstroke, the body in back glide position should be streamlined with good, proud posture. The arm stroke should be smooth and efficient. The pull is with straight arms, the maximum distance from where the hand enters the water just above the shoulder all the way to the hip. In the glide, the arms remain at the hip as the whole body maintains its streamlined position. Here the swimmer is using the breaststroke kick. The stroke as a whole should exhibit control and a smooth, even rhythm. Breath control should also be practiced to achieve even, smooth, in and out breathing. The water wheel begins and ends in back layout position. The arms do not aid in propulsion. From the waist down, the body is turned, but the back remains flat. The action of leg and foot is similar to bicycle pedaling, with the foot reaching as far forward as possible. The hips pivot in one spot. There is no body travel. In the breaststroke, as used in creative swimming, hips and legs are lowered slightly to keep the head out of water, nose pointed straight ahead, and chin at the surface. Each stroke ends with a glide. The arm stroke and leg kick are the same as in the orthodox stroke. Guard against a partial side stroke or scissors kick, which will lower one hip. Hips must be kept on an even keel. The log roll begins with a front glide, face in the water, feet near the surface, the body perfectly in line with no arching. The roll is accomplished by a stretch on one side and a slight drop of the shoulder. No other motion is necessary. The stretch is along the whole side of the body as the fingertips reach out and the shoulder drops. The side stroke used in creative swimming is the same as the conventional stroke. Body position is streamlined with the head in line with the body. It is well to experiment to find the correct slide glide for a particular body build. The leg kick is either the regular or an inverted scissor kick. The glide is essential, being altered only when the music requires it. Various arm strokes and recoveries may be used, provided they have grace, smoothness, and valid purpose. A creative swimmer is expected to swim on either side proficiently. The corkscrew is a roll beginning and ending in a streamlined side glide position. The top arm reaches under to the opposite shoulder, then pulls to the hip and remains straight and in the water for the glide. The body must not pike or arch. The shark begins in the side or back layout. The body is arched. The head is back to continue the arch. The out of water arm is stretched gracefully. The upper part of the arm almost resting on the ear. The fingertips almost trailing the water. The other arm moves in a shallow pull underwater as if the swimmer were drawing a circle with the elbow. A round circle, not an oval. Be sure the fingers are together with thumb in since the hand is especially noticed in this maneuver. Variations of these basic strokes and skills may be creatively combined in a composition to interpret a theme, establish a mood, and interest an audience.